Attention, Hank and Luna report to the Model Y for immediate departure. Attention, attention, Hank and Luna report to the Model Y for immediate departure. Who wants to go for a ride? Yeah? All right, well, let's get going. Let's open this baby up. We are ready to go. Today we are going to do a low speed range test here in the Performance Model Y. I've got the crew in the back, Hank and Luna are ready to go. Let's have a look at the stats here. So here is uh, the map and we are going to do the same run we did in the Mach-E. The only difference is of course uh, we can see our invisible road here. So we're going to head north here to a town called Columbus. From Columbus, we're going to go east and we are going to go past Forest City here to just about Mooresboro and then turn around. And this is better part, I think it's 28 miles, 30 miles from exactly where you get on to where we turn around. And we're going to travel at 56 miles an hour or 90 kilometers per hour and run until we hit zero here in the Tesla Model Y performance. We will start now, get up there, and get up on the road. So the crew members are loaded in the back. That's Hank and Luna. So let's hit the road. So let's set up the trips here. Uh, this is uh, startup, their last charge, A Wyoming trip, you guys remember that. Uh, and then uh, home. Let's go ahead and erase the Wyoming trip. We're going to go ahead and relabel it. Okay. So there we go. We're at zero, zero. Everything is zeroed out. And uh, we are at 100%. And let's get going. I believe this uh, car's got a 78 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, it's uh, pretty efficient. So let's see how it works. It's a nice day today. This morning it's uh, 67 degrees outside. It's supposed to be in the 80s, I believe. It's uh, high clouds, should be nice. I'm not sure about the wind. I think the wind will pick up later in the day. But I think we're good to go. This is the start of the 56 mile slow speed range test for the Tesla Model Y Performance. I uh, will be getting up on Interstate 74 here. We turn around past a place called Forest City and then come back. And we go back and forth until we run out of juice here. So let's set the uh, autopilot and uh, we are good to go. I just checked with the GPS and with this wheel and tire combo I need to run at 57 to be exactly 56 miles an hour and 90 kilometers uh, an hour. So we're going to be running at 57 today as a result. The stats are as follows. 64 degrees outside and uh, we're at 98% battery here. So let's uh, get to it. It's a long day. It should be six hours. It looks like my crew is in deep sleep for the duration of this long voyage. This is the lap one first turnaround here. The stats are as follows, 31.2 miles. I've used uh, seven kilowatts hour, seven kilowatt hours total. Um, it is uh, 64 degrees. 90% on the battery and 230 watt hours per mile and it's uh, back on the interstate I go. Westbound Interstate 74 lap one. This is the end of lap one. We're gonna loop around and uh, Head up, uh, do lap two, end of lap one. I 
beginning of lap two now. Stats are 58.8 miles, 14 kilowatt hours used, 233 watt hours per mile. The battery reads 80%, it's 1014 and it's 69 degrees. So let's get to it. This is lap two turnaround and here are the stats. 85 miles, 20 kilowatt hours used, 233 miles on the odometer. It is 1042, it is 69 degrees outside, and it is 71% on the battery. Westbound, Interstate 74, lap number two. This is the end of lap two now. We'll get turned around and start lap three. This is lap three now, 112.6 miles, 26 kilowatt hours used, averaging 235 watt hours per mile. It is 11, 12 a.m., 72 degrees and 61% on the battery. Let's go. I am off at uh, the end of the run. This is lap three. The stats are as follows. 138.8, 32 kilowatt hours used, average of 234 watt hours per mile. Uh, it's 11.40 a.m., 72 degrees, and the battery sitting at 52%. So let's get back on the interstate here and uh, head that way. 74 westbound, lap number three. This is the end of lap three and time for a bio break. We're gonna pull off uh, around the roundabout here and uh, go uh, use the facility and then get back to our run here. End of lap three. This is lap number four, 166.8, 39 kilowatt hours used, averaging a 235 watt hours per mile. It's 1118, make that 1218, and 79 degrees and 41% on the battery. So let's get it going. This is our turnaround. This is lap four. The stats are as follows. 192.9 miles, 46 kilowatt hours used, an average of 236 watt hours per mile used, 32% on the battery. It's 1246 and 75 degrees. This is lap number four turnaround. Highway 74 West. This is lap number four. They've been sleeping the whole trip. This is the end of lap four now. We'll get it turned around and start lap five. This is the beginning of lap five. Stats are as follow. 220.4 miles, 53 kilowatt hours used, average of 238 watt hours per mile, 22% on the battery, it's 117 p.m. and 78 degrees. Lap five, let's get to it. This is lap five turnaround. Stats are follows, 246.6 miles, 59 kilowatt hours, 238 watt hours per mile. It's 145, it's 76 degrees, and we have 12% on the battery. Westbound now, Highway 74, lap five. This is the end of lap five now. 
get turned around and hit up to do lap six. This is uh, the last turn here in the circle. And uh, we're headed out to do lap number six. Lap number six now, stats are as follow, 274.265 kilowatt hours used, average of 237 watt hours per mile, 3% on the battery, it's 2.15 p.m. and it's 79 degrees. Let's head down the road, lap number six. We're going to exit here, one exit short of Highway 9, and drive around uh, close to the house, mainly because uh, there are absolutely no charging solutions at all uh, in the county down here, except for my house. So, we'll uh, drive around until uh, we get to zero. Got 2% on the meter here. We have reached zero, and uh, looks like I got quite a bit of power left, even though the um, car says zero miles. I think there's always a little left in the battery. I think I'm going to drive it to the end of the street here where I live and, uh, and then drive it back. As long as I'm showing power and uh, you can kind of see the the dots are located uh, above the 45. I'm gonna uh, see if I can get more miles out of this. I'm at 281 now, Let's see how it goes. Might be on the side of the road, you never know. Well, I've been driving around here. Can't seem to run it out of juice, so if you look there at the uh, power on the top, can't seem to run it out, so that's fine. We're just kind of driving home. I am tired of driving around. If you look at the power, it's uh, still uh, there. So I'm just going to call it quits. I've got off the interstate. I could have gone down to Highway 9 at this rate and come back. And I'd still have uh, range and power here. So forget it. I'm going to call it. We'll uh, take a look here once I get in the garage. We've been driving on zero for probably 10 miles now. All right, I'm in the driveway. The odometer reads uh, 291. By the time I get it parked, I think it may be 0.1 or something. Let's get it parked and we'll go through the stats here. Well, there you have it. We are backed into the garage. The dogs are uh, waiting to get out. They've been excellent puppies. Here are the stats, uh, 291 miles. Uh, one thing I want to show you, if you look up here, you see these dots. Oops, there you go. If you look up here, you see these dots coming down this way. That is the power limit, and that dictates exactly how much power you have left in the battery. This is an indication that you got to get charged sometime soon, which happens to be zero. And the Tesla has a bunch of reserve power below zero. So when you do range tests, you need to use it. But I didn't want to drive around for another 15 miles uh, on the back roads here. So I called it at uh, 291.1. However, I'm pretty sure I could have easily got 300 out of this. Um, 69 uh, kilowatt hours used out of the battery. We used uh, an average of 236 watt hours per mile. It's relatively low. It's uh, 78 degrees and I've gotten the garage and it's starting to change. The time's 248. So all is good. I uh, think that the Tesla performed fine. Its EPA range here is 292 miles. So I could have easily accomplished that here. Uh, at 55 or I should say 90 kilometers per hour. So I hope you enjoyed this range test. It uh, was a long one, drove a lot of miles. 
If you would, please go ahead and click the like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to see episodes coming up. If you'd like to buy yourself a Tesla, the referral link shown here at the bottom of the screen will get you 1,000 miles or 1,500 kilometers of free supercharging. Thank you for watching. I'll look for you in the next one, and take care.